this video, we're going to get behind the wheel of the hotly anticipated Porsche IPO. We'll be breaking down the headlines of what you need to know, the possible outcomes, and how you can buy shares. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe and hit that bell button to be the first to know when our latest video drops. Porsche plans to publicly list its shares on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange on the 29th of September 2022. Shares will cost between €76.50 and €82.50, and analysts expect that the IPO will raise up to €75 billion. Euros. The shares issued in the IPO will not have voting rights. Porsche is a luxury car brand in Germany owned by Volkswagen, who also own Audi, Lamborghini and Bentley. For those in the know, you might be thinking, well, hang on, Volkswagen is already a publicly listed company, so how does this work? Well observed, eagle-eyed investors. Volkswagen is doing what's known as a spin-off, which is the creation of a new public company from an existing public company. A bit like when your favourite reality TV star gets their own show off the back of a bigger franchise. In this case, the parent division, Volkswagen, is spinning off its baby, Porsche, listing Porsche's shares via an initial public offering or IPO in the same way any other company would. Volkswagen will still be the largest shareholder of Porsche with just 12.5% of its shares up for grabs. Qatar Investment Authority, an existing Volkswagen shareholder, has already announced that it plans to purchase nearly 2.5% of Porsche. Volkswagen has said that half of the proceeds from the IPO will fund a one-off dividend for its shareholders, while the other half will go towards new electric vehicle technology. As well as raising additional funds, Volkswagen is hoping that by listing Porsche separately, it can boost the overall value of the two companies combined. But this could backfire and become a costly error, as we'll look at in the next section. There are three ways the Porsche IPO could go. One, Volkswagen spins off Porsche, it's a huge success and the value of both companies combined exceeds the original valuation of VW. In this case, VW has succeeded, it's got the funds to innovate and its shareholders get a cheeky dividend. Two, the IPO doesn't exactly go as planned and the two companies combined are valued at less than the original VW valuation. This could happen if existing VW shareholders jump ship, frustrated that their shares no longer include the luxury brand. And finally, three, Volkswagen spins off Porsche and overall, nothing much changes at a huge expense. The combined valuation could be pretty much what it was to start with, but with the extra work and costs involved in the spin-off. If you don't already have a trading app or brokerage account, you'll need to set one up. Shop around to find the best one for you, but if it's poor shares you're especially interested in, make sure your app has access to the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Once you've set up a trading account, add funds to your account, search for Porsche shares, select a market order to buy shares at the price listed before you, or choose a limit order to automatically buy shares when their prices fall within the specific limits you have set. And congrats, you are now a Porsche shareholder. If you want to know more about upcoming IPOs or learn more about investing, head to finder.com by clicking this link here. I've also tagged a whole load of useful links in the description below, including a link to our 2022 IPO calendar. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button to be the first to know when a new video drops. Thanks for watching.